Here are some things I cannot stand about some of these popular self-help gurus. Some of these popular self-help business gurus are just absolutely lying to you. Something that I cannot stand is the fact that some of these people who just say, pick it up by your bootstraps, I did it with no help, I'm self-made, all these different things. But no one who has succeeded in this life is self-made. They had some sort of outlier, something that has helped them get to the next level. I recently read a book called Outliers, and it basically talked about so many different people's success stories. And something that I looked at and was so confused about was how someone like Bill Gates, for example, super successful billionaire, created Microsoft, wow. But he had outliers in his life that allowed him to succeed step by step by step throughout his entire life. His parents, successful, had patents, no people, worked at IBM, et cetera, et cetera. And not only that, he went to a nice school, private school, had all these different opportunities. People within that private school had opportunities to get into computer labs. Then he had the ability to work with the University of Washington. Then had the ability to be in his lab and learn, learn, learn about computers, engineering, coding, everything. Because he had all these opportunities, he then in turn became more and more successful and had the ability to even drop out of university. Do you know what that means? He, at every step of the way, he had some sort of opportunity, some blessing that kind of came to him. Yes, he took advantage of it. Yes, he put in the hours. But in the book, I learned that, again, when you spend 10,000 hours on something, you become an expert, a master. He became an expert, a master in something where there was minimal people who were even novices, advanced, or anything. He was an expert at it because he spent so many hours doing it because he was so in tune with it. Yes, he put in the work, but he had the opportunity to do that. And again, it was not self-made. There were so many things along the way that got him to that level of success. So you have to understand that when these business gurus or some of these people try to tell you something like, oh, do this, create a business, do this, do that. But sometimes, yo, I don't even have time because I need to work to support to pay bills for my family. Like there's outliers here. There's situations that actually happen that don't allow me to do that next step. I can know what needs to be done, but I don't have the time to get it done because of my obligations and responsibilities that are happening as we speak. And that is something that I've noticed that really infuriates me about some of these self-help business gurus. They'll sit there and say all these things to you, but again, it's not as easy as it is as they're making it seem because they're not even checking their privilege. They don't even realize how, how many things in life have helped them get to that next level. There's also some people who, again, give solid advice, genuinely give good advice, work hard, do the right thing, no excuses. Yes, and I agree with that, and I myself will give that same advice. I agree with that, but again, it's understanding you have to have some sort of compassion and empathy for people's lives. It's a lot harder for certain people to get out of that. It's not the same for everyone. People have different circumstances, so there has to be a different way to portray a message. For example, if you give the advice and say like, no one cares, no one this, no one that. Cool, I could agree with that. But I can listen to that advice and be like, you know what? That works for me. But some people need a different sort of medium. There's a different level of, okay, how is this person gonna take that advice? How are they gonna learn that same lesson? We all don't learn the same, we're all not the same. So to hear sometimes these business leaders saying, if they don't listen to me, then oh, they're just an idiot. But no, they have to, might have to hear a different way. Sometimes you have to hear something a couple of times before you can really understand it. Your delivery, the way you're saying it. Something my dad always tells me is that you can be saying the right thing, but if your delivery is rude, your delivery is wrong, then no one's gonna care what you're saying because it's not resonating with the people. Something that frustrates me is that sometimes people will say the right thing. I swear they're saying the right thing, but they're saying it in such a way where it just makes people upset and angry and then it doesn't help them and it makes them feel worse about themselves. And that's just not how we're supposed to do it. One of the most common things that really frustrate me is this emphasis on money and that money equals success. But again, I know people with money who I would look at them in their lives and say they are not successful because who cares what their metric of success is? And say, for example, you read a lot, you do all these things that better your life, but that aren't bringing you money. Are you successful? Say you got more religious and more spiritual and you are now one with yourself. You're so mentally peaceful and calm. You made zero dollars. You haven't succeeded in the eyes of society, but you internally feel so good about yourself. You're calm, you're relaxed. That is success. That's something that some of these business gurus aren't teaching. All they're teaching is get the fastest car, get this, get that, indulge in this materialistic society, get the big house, do these things. But that's not what success is. And success shouldn't be limited to that. That is limited to what? The moment, the time being, this life even? Like after you die, is the money gonna follow you? No, it's not. Your legacy might, yeah. But is your legacy just what you did with money or the impact you had on the people around you? And there should be more of these fitness gurus or more of these business gurus and these motivational gurus talking about actually having a lasting impact on the people around you, a positive impact, being a real person, having a heart. Like, you know, sometimes people are so intellectual and say the right things, but they don't have any 
empathy. They lack intuition. They lack being a human being. So what's the point of that? And I don't. I personally don't understand that because I'm someone who likes giving advice. I like talking about things because people have given me advice. I love having the conversation. But sometimes they do these things where they don't actually talk to you about what needs to be done. They just sit there and yell at you. But again, that's not solving the problem. There isn't a one size fits all approach. There's so many different ways to become successful, to better your life. You can hear the advice from, again, 10 different people, but the 11th time you hear it from someone this way is the time you hear it. So again, it's a good thing, but understand that you can't just listen to some people's advice one time, three times, two times, and not click. So you should probably listen to someone else. Someone else will probably help you out more than hearing someone just tell you, get a fast car, do this, do that, because you're broke. Also, something that frustrates me is unrealistic positivity. Everyone knows someone who's just so fake positive. You could be overly positive. You can. I'm someone who sometimes gets a little of this overly positive mindset where I force myself to constantly be happy. But it's different between trying to force myself to be constantly happy and then constantly having gratitude. There's a difference. Expressing gratitude for what you have, even in struggle, is important. But understand, not every situation is a positive and you won't see it that way sometimes. You couldn't know that even though this is a negative experience that's happening to you, it could be a blessing in disguise. You could know that, but the emotion is still gonna suck. But sometimes these people say, no, it doesn't suck, everything's meant for you. And it's, they're yelling at you, yo, take a break, realize, to have this emotion. Feel that emotion, understand it, but then have gratitude in order to get to the next step. It's a little bit of both, because at the end of the day, a crappy situation is gonna be a crappy situation. You're gonna feel sad, you're gonna feel distraught about it. So understand that and allow that to be your reality. Something that also infuriates me is someone who says they're a real estate guru, but they're saying, hey, buy my course for $10,000 and I'll teach you everything I know about real estate. Yeah, they might be great and successful, but imagine spending $10,000 on a real estate course when you could just literally learn about real estate and buy a property or buy something or get a down payment for a similar price. Like, you know, like you can do that with the money you're spending on that. You can learn for free on YouTube, then the internet. People give free courses, people talk about things. But again, how are you gonna utilize this? You could use money through courses, I'm not knocking it. It's a good thing, but understand what value are you actually giving people? Are you communicating with them? Are you making sure people are learning something? And again, some people just do it for the money and those people you really have to watch out about that just do it for the lifestyle. And they sell you the lifestyle, not selling you this, the, the grit, the grind, the hard work needed to get to the next level. Some of these people also have cult-like followings. And me personally, you should never follow someone. And me personally, again, being a religious person, the only people I follow is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the prophets and the message that is being taught to us. I'm not gonna follow another man or listen to another man or fear another man for what they're trying to tell me. You can get advice in different places, but understand you have to have a purpose, a character, and a sense of self-worth to understand your intuition to do the next thing that needs to be done. You shouldn't just chase it and listen to every single person's advice. Sometimes too much advice and too much things coming from left and right, it's just too much. You have to listen to yourself because when you make a decision based on what you know and what you're thinking, that's how you're going to be the happiest with that decision. Also, if you're going to listen to people, make sure they're genuine. Look them up, see what they like doing, know their character. Because again, if you're gonna invest your time, your attention, your money to these people, make sure that they're doing it for the right reasons. They're doing it with intent, that they've stayed solid the whole time in their life. They're the same person. They're not switching up just for some bills, just for some money. And again, don't chase the lifestyle or chase the success route. Understand that some people have made it because of their outliers. Some people have made it because of the privilege that they've had all their lives. But some people really have made it through the grit, the grind, the hard work. Listen to those types of people who really made it from ground zero. Those are the people you have to listen to. Those people that you can listen to their story and get inspired versus people who are just chatting and don't even talk about the privilege that they had growing up. All in all, make sure you have critical thinking skills when it comes to listening to people and these business influencers and people that talk about how to make money, how to do this. And at the end of the day, there isn't any get rich quick. Everything's gonna take hard work, persistence, and hours to learn and be knowledgeable about whatever field you wanna enter into. And me personally, as someone who has been privileged in life to learn so much and be able to learn and have the ability to do it, I urge you guys to do the same thing. Guys, again, for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. And again, leave comments down below of what you guys think about it as well, because I know you guys have seen it as well, where it's so frustrating and it's painful to see people selling this course, buy my book, buy this, buy that, but they haven't done the work needed just because of the privilege they've had. And hey, all in all, find the right people that make you feel the most yourself and bring the best out of you. Looking forward to seeing another week, another episode that I'm doing here. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share it to all your friends. And again, leave those comments so I can read them. I love reading them. Really appreciate it. See you next time.